Well, the engineering profession, once dominated by the male folks in the past, has now become first choice for the female gender in universities and colleges around the world, with inventions and innovations spearheaded by women contributing to the growing profile of recent science revolutions. In this report, correspondent Ayomide Ajebi X raised the challenges of the female engineering students at the Lagos State University Epe campus and the intervention by the Association of Female Engineers in Nigeria. Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering at the Lagos State University Epe campus, where female learners are shattering the glass ceilings with good grades and outstanding performances. Rebecca Kendi Oluwashio is a 500 level student of mechanical engineering, and despite her disabilities, is a first-class student who believes that with the right support, female engineers can outshine their male colleagues. As a female engineering student, and even presently with my little disability, I feel I have all it takes to, to, to challenge them because all I need to do is to be out there, all I need to do is to be informed, all I need to do is to have those that, are, that can support me, of which I have my chairman and also upon Lagos. So, and I, I'm sure that every other student like myself, female engineering student from last one, even other colleagues in other school, with the help of Appoint, we can actually become what we want to be and we can, we can be that which we want to be, especially in the field of engineering. So, we can compete with anybody, even the male counterpart. In spite of the potentials of the student, they're limited by infrastructures, most especially electricity, as sometimes they skip classes so as to be able to fetch water because it might not be available by the time lectures are over. We had no electricity from the government anymore, with like no leper lights. The generator all of a sudden stopped working and we could not get a replacement no repair for many weeks at a time. As of right now, the last repair that has been made has been over three weeks ago. Yes, so it, is, it has just been getting worse. And then in classes, there's so much heat because of the weather and things are not getting better. We are trying to learn in class, we are all finding ourselves. People are stinking up the places because they are sweating so much. You can't even say, okay, I've had classes throughout the day. Let me come back to my hostel and rest so I can read. You cannot read because there's no light to do so. All the materials that we have on our phones and our technological devices are of no use because we have no power in them. The Association of Professional Women Engineers in Lagos are here to complement the efforts of the school management to make learning easier. And they are extending the gesture to the male hostel as well. When there is a constant power supply where they can read, they can do their research work, especially their 500 level students. And that's why I discussed with my team, the high schools, and the entire Apple and Lagos, that what can we actually do for Lasso Ekwe campus for our female engineering students? And we came up with this oh, let's install a 1.5 kV solar for them in their common room then so that they will be coming there to read the place we serve as a resource center for them we're going to electrify the whole place both students and management of the university were excited by the donation of solar facility which they say will by no small means lessen their burden i want to say a thank you for this that they've done because it's going to give us more opportunity to study well for the past and um, for the past one month now we have have what are they called limited lights and water in Equa campus but because of this innovation that they've brought up it's going to give us more time for us to study well because most time we spend most of our time fetching water um, um, queuing for water for like too hard but with this innovation that has come to this campus this is assist us for us to study well this will complement the effort of the Management of Lagos State University uh, under the able leadership of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Ibiemi Ibilola, Olatunji Bilo, MNI. Uh, the management also, like I mentioned before, has been making effort to uh, produce, uh, to supply solar modules, to create the resource centers where students can go and uh, study. With corporate organizations, groups, and governments coming together to team up to provide these facilities, then we can start talking about producing world-class technicians and professionals, such as female students who are in the field of engineering. We hope that some of these gestures will go a long way to help to sustain equitable education in Nigeria. I am Media Jake with TVC News, Lagos.